Hi, it's Mike again with Utastic. I'm here still at the GoToConf Chicago 2013. Right now I'm sitting down with Mike Lee, who's created the Amsterdam Movement. Uh, he was a, a keynote, uh, end, of the, end of the day keynote speaker yesterday talking about mobile development, but also you have this thing that you're calling the Amsterdam Movement. Uh, well, first, thank you for sitting down with me. My pleasure. And what is the Amsterdam Movement? Uh, well, you know, Amsterdam is an organization that started two years ago in Amsterdam. And okay. it, was, uh, it was really about this idea of you know, going to these tech conferences, mm -hmm. especially these really community-focused ones like GoTo, right. and being really inspired by the way that when we're with each other, when we're together with you know, other people who are into the same stuff that right. we're into, it makes us somehow smarter. You know, it, it, it's, we share ideas freely, we can you know, easily bounce things around. I mean, every time I come to a, a conference, I just feel like my brain has just really, really gone somewhere, you right, know? Right. It, it's a fantastic feeling, and I thought, we should have that feeling all the time. And so we tried to come up with ways to try to make it like there was a technology conference in the city of Amsterdam all the time. Uh, it very quickly ended up spreading to other cities and okay. other countries, even all the way here to Chicago. Right, right, yeah. One of the people who I'm drawing a blank on, uh, I, I bumped into yesterday, and he was saying, we have Amsterdam here in Chicago. Uh, so is it is it a user group, or is it something else? It's kind of in between. Okay. Because the thing about Amsterdam versus pretty much any other like technological organization mm -hmm. is that it's open to everybody, right? So it's not a particular platform. It's not a particular mm -hmm. technology. We like apps. And if you like apps, we want to talk to you. And not just the technologists who like apps, the designers who work on apps, but also you know lawyers, marketeers, other people who are interested in apps. Or even imagine if you were, say, a publisher, and you don't know anything about apps. You don't really want to know anything about apps, mm -hmm. except that apps are destroying your business. Right. So you need to know about apps. And, and where do you go to talk to people about apps? That's what Amsterdam is. It is, in the spirit of Amsterdam, a middle ground where everyone is welcome to come together mm -hmm. in the spirit of creativity and commerce. So when you say apps, you are specifically talking about mobile, iOS, Android. Really? We don't care. Bring okay. your own definition. If, mm -hmm. if it means mobile, if it means Android to you, mm -hmm. uh, that's fine, right? If you are more concerned with like web stuff, like we are not in the business of lawyering the definition of an app, really. Yeah. We're just a friendly bunch of technologists and, and, and you know, lots of people who like to hang out with technology. But, it, well, at the very least, it sounds like it's, it's people who like to deliver product. Mm. It, it, you know, it's not, I like to obsess over this algorithm, it's we want to deliver things, we want to make things that people get into their hands, whether it's on an iPad and a phone or it's on a computer via website or whatever. It's, it's about delivery is what it sounds like to me. Well, it really is, but at the same time, there are so many different aspects to what we do, to the making of an app, you know? Like when you're trying to hire somebody, you want to look for things like, is this person a, a musician? Right. You know, does this person have adventures? Uh, this has nothing to do with making apps per se, right. and yet it does. There's this kind of gestalt about all of this kind of thing. So yes, we are people who like to deliver apps, but if you want to talk about some crazy algorithm, you'll probably find somebody who wants to talk with you about that. Right. So do you have uh, monthly meetings or are these uh, bi-monthly? How, 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 how do you structure it? And, and is there like um, a overarching, like this is how you do Amsterdam in X? Uh, yeah, there kind of is. Uh, you know, there, there's there's kind of the Amsterdam formula, and so if you look at the way it's done in, in Amsterdam, mm -hmm. uh, it's not necessarily the way that it's done everywhere else. Because when an embassy opens up, like in Chicago, for example, mm -hmm. they might decide, you know, we don't want to meet uh, seven o'clock on a on a Wednesday, right. right? And the point is not to meet at seven o'clock on a Wednesday. The point is that you should have a regular meetup that happens at a regular time at a regular place, mm -hmm. so that it's not moving everywhere, so that it's easy to find. Right. But that's just one of the things that we do in Amsterdam. We have some kind of event or meetup and get together on average every other day. Oh, so okay. So this is way beyond the monthly. It is really about there being a tech conference all the time. If you come to Amsterdam for a week, there's going to be at least one lecture for you. There's going to be at least one you know get together and drink event for you. Uh, there's there's very likely to be some kind of a workshop or a, a, a casual weekend get together to play games or go to a museum or you know get our families to know each other. Yeah. Uh, we do all kinds of crazy stuff. Well, so this is this sounds like it's really about you're really focused on building a community. Very much so. Yeah. Not not let's get together and, and have our little social club, but this is. 
this it's, building it's, up. it's far beyond the social club. For example, the reason why I know that we have uh, an event on average every other day is because the University of Amsterdam uh, has a research project to measure Amsterdam and its effect on the city. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? So what, what have they found? Uh, well, for example, if you were to look at the... Uh, uh, they have some 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 criteria of like you know Amsterdam related businesses, right? okay. And then they looked at the Chamber of Commerce and they looked at business registrations, and you can see a something like a fifty percent increase in the number of technical businesses opening up since the advent of Amsterdam. Where they did a comparison of the top technology related meetups in the city of Amsterdam, for example, and found that if you if you stack all those bars up in terms of like number of events, mm -hmm. Amsterdam has more events than basically everyone else in the city combined. Well, this is a, a this is a kind of a surprise here on the camera for me because this is the first time I've heard of of any kind of quantifiable research into what technical communities, in, what the impact of them is. Is there is there is there any links to this off of the Amsterdam site, or where could one go find out more about that? Uh, so the the name of the uh, the project itself at the University of Amsterdam was called InnoViz. That's I N N O V I Z. Uh, and we probably have some link to it or something on, uh, on Amsterdam.rs, which is our, our home page. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that, that's, that, that boggles my mind that there's been this community here in Chicago, in, uh, and, and I've not heard of it, but it sounds like it's a really vibrant community. Very uh, much so. And that also, I think, uh, kind of reveals just how big technical community can be. Yes. Uh, that there could be stuff going on right underneath your nose, and it's it takes effort to go out and, and, and dig into it and find these things that that's even you know as small as we might think our communities are they are spread out over a large area mm. and we don't maybe communicate as well as we're not going to communicate yeah. we're, not, yeah. we're not we're not really people <laughs> uh, people people right yeah um, but we work on this as well at, at Amsterdam for example we have a lot of different speaker training programs uh, you know, I used to work at Apple, and so we had this conference called WWDC. Right. And every year, the engineers would have to be trained on how to speak so they can get up on stage and, and give their presentations. Oh. And okay. so there's this sort of weekly series that happens every Wednesday called Spotlight On, and people get up and they talk about what they're working on, and then they get speaker training. Uh, so we took that idea with us with Amsterdam, so that we have the weekly Wednesday lunchtime lectures where right. somebody gets up and blah blah blah, and we have speaker training. Uh, and then we, we have another speaker training program, which is kind of like a Toastmasters thing that meets once a month. And then we have another speaker training program called Pitch Club, which is actually a speaker training program based on Fight Club. Okay. Um, now, I've heard of pitch, pitch groups where you get together and you, and you learn how to pitch and you get critiqued on what your delivery, on, on how terse you were and how direct and, and things like that. Is that kind of like what that is, or is it something else? A little bit, but first of all, you get the feedback from me, and okay. uh, well, I've been known to be a bit uh, direct. Okay, uh, hence the Fight Club. Hence, <laughs> hence, 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 hence the Fight Club, yeah. right? Uh, but really, it is. It's, it's a sixty-second pitch, and then you you get feedback basically on, you know, first of all, how do you overcome the natural wall that someone puts in front of them when a stranger turns around and starts talking about something? How do you right. communicate effectively, especially? You know, this is Europe we're talking about, so a lot of people are not speaking English as their first or even second language. Right. And so, you know, for example, if you have a strong accent, that's going to affect the way that you're able to communicate. A lot of people aren't going to want to talk to you about your accent, but that's yeah. the reality of what you're going to have to deal with. Right? And not only that, but once you have my attention, what are you going to do with it? You have 60 seconds. Are you grabbing my attention? And at the end of 60 seconds, are you converting me to your side? That's kind of the full pitching cycle. Yeah. And in the Fight Club fashion, if it's your first time, you have to pitch. Okay, so everybody that comes has to pitch. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so there's no lurkers. No lurkers around. Okay, and uh, if somebody is in a city that doesn't have an Amsterdam event, where do they go to learn more about this? I'm presuming there's there's a website and all that, but mm -hmm. uh, who who can they get in contact with to to learn more about how to start something in their community? Uh, sure. I mean, if you want to start something in your community, then you should probably write to. Probably info at Amsterdam.rs. Okay. It would probably be uh, the, the, the right email address for that sort of thing. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for taking the time. Yeah, my pleasure. It's fascinating to find out that there's this under, uh, I don't want to say underground community, but this community that's been underneath my nose, I'm going to be digging into it here in Chicago. Fantastic. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs>